Hi, I'm Maka. Have you ever wanted to purchase officially licensed Persona 5 merch? Because you totally can! You can find all sorts of Persona goodies, and you barely even need to look! Tell me, what do you want? A 4-disc vinyl soundtrack at I Am 8-Bit? A Get Smoked hat from Fangamer? How about a 20 by 14 clean version of the now iconic cover, printed as a very high quality piece of fine art from Kuchenbecker? Well, too bad, they're all sold out. But don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Such as this Persona 5 notebook that has a $60 collector's edition that has been delayed multiple times. Or how about... Fungo Pops? Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh man! Funko Pops, those are just too nice! Far too hardcore for me to buy! Bullshit! Well, then how about this big old pin of Joker and On with thick black outlines that look super ugly in person? But you better act fast, because while they're still for sale, they're limited run items with only 1500 made and have been on sale since October 2019! These things could go any minute! Come this time next year, they might even all be gone, maybe. <sighs> all this merch is great, and while it is officially licensed, I want to see what Atlas themselves can make. I want to see Atlas take their various IPs and make things like phone cases, pins, keychains, shirts, hoodies, towels, and dare I say it, plushies? Oh, they do have those? Well, awesome! Where can I get them? Anime Expo. But I live literally on the other side of the country. I can't just go to Anime Expo. Import. But that can get expensive! Man, if only there was a way for Atlas to sell me their goods from the comfort of my own home so I don't have to order directly from Japan or... <laughs> go to California. Well, hello there, Jong Jack Frost knockoff. It's me, Atlas Yusa West. Ha ha ha. Oh boy, oh! Boy, Daddy Atlas, whatever are you doing here? Don't call me that. You're lucky I don't claim your videos for breaking out streaming guidelines. But you did! Hey, fuck you! Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today I will be talking not about a video game, but rather a web service, the Atlas Online Store. The Atlas Online Store, or AOS as I'll sometimes be referring to it as, was an online storefront where Western fans of Atlas games could buy merchandise made by Atlas itself. While there have been stores in the past, the AOS was meant to be a modern way to purchase Atlas goods in Western territories. Having launched in October 2017, the store was around for exactly 2 years and 15 days before it was shut down, and in that time it was... less than well received. So what exactly happened? Why was the storefront poorly received? And with Atlas West insisting that it will be back, what can they do to improve it? Well, to figure all of this out, we're going to need to start at the beginning, all the way back on June 29th, 2017. It had been three months since the launch of what would become the best-selling game in Atlas's history, and the game that all future JRPGs would be compared to, justifiably or not. E3 had come and gone, and the Los Angeles Convention Center was in the midst of preparing for their next big event. Anime Expo, the single largest anime convention in the Western world. Atlas USA, as they were known at the time, was attending. On June 29th, they announced their merchandise lineup. Seeing as Persona 5 was their most recent game and was in the middle of blowing up sales charts and online discourse, it's not surprising that their sales menu was predominantly made up of Persona 5 goods. This includes various t-shirts, wall scrolls, keychains, buttons, and even a Morgana plush. However, it wasn't all P5 goods as there was a Jack Frost plush, a Jack Frost hoodie, and an SMT4 Apocalypse wall scroll. As the con came and went, Atlas USA would post on July 5th, 2017, Missed out on the Persona 5 merchandise at the Anime Expo? Don't you worry! We got you covered! You'll be able to get your hands on these goods online really soon! Stay tuned! Months go by, and we don't really hear anything about this mysterious project. That's when on October 9th, we were finally given an update as they were putting the finishing touches on what would become the Atlas Online Store. A few days later, the store was confirmed to be launching on October 16th, 2017. It didn't go super well. Okay, so quick disclaimer, because the store is, you know, closed, the only way to access it is through the Wayback Machine. 
The Wayback Machine only has so many versions of the store archived. Because of this, some of you might be concerned that I won't be showing the appropriate version of the website as it is supposed to be on the specific days I talk about. I get that. But there are only so many archives I can access, and as someone who paid attention to the AOS during its lifetime, I promise you that when I say the store literally only sold the Anime Expo Persona 5 merch plus the Jack Frost hoodie and plush while also listing Jack Frost under the Persona 5 brand instead of under his own, I'm telling the fucking truth. So yeah, when Atlas USA said the Persona 5 merchandise at the Anime Expo, they literally just meant the P5 merch they had at Anime Expo. Easily the biggest complaint out of the gate was the fact that this wasn't an Atlas store. Hell, it wasn't even a Persona store. It was the Persona 5 online store. The only items that weren't based on Persona 5 were the two pieces of Jack Frost merch, and even then they were listed as being under the P5 brand. Yes, Jack Frost is in Persona 5, but he's more than that. He's a demon. He's Atlas's mascot. He's literally his own merchandising brand separate from Megami Tensei and Persona. He has been in tons of games throughout the company's history, so to simply throw him under Persona 5 personally left a bad taste in my mouth. The lack of franchise variety wasn't the only issue people had with it. Many complained about the price of the goods, such as $45 for a single plushie. When you include tax and shipping, the prices got even worse. Europe, Mexico, and Canada were left high and dry as international shipping was completely absent. Apparently, Canada was supposed to be supported, but there was a glitch on Atlas USA's end. Some people cited problems with the mobile site, others complained about the limited size options for clothing, and a few even outright stated that the products for purchase weren't even good. Sure, there were some people just loving the thing, but it was clear that the store did not have a very graceful launch. In fact, all of the complaints I just listed would be echoed to varying degrees all the way until the store's closure. They would eventually do things in the months following the launch, like adding shipping to Canada and Mexico, properly putting Jack Frost into his own category, and adding that SMT4 Apocalypse wall scroll to the store in its own SMT4 category, alongside a... Chujin Academy mug? What? The next time Atlas USA would do anything of note related to the AOS would be on June 29th, 2018, when they announced their Anime Expo 2018 goods lineup. That year, the only Atlas-made games that were released in the West were Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight and Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight. Because of this, the vast majority of their Anime Expo goods were based upon those games, and it was pretty much your standard fare of hats, wall scrolls, keychains, shirts, and a plush. It did have a few wild cards with the addition of some water bottles, towels, and acrylic stands. Outside of the dancing games, there were five items that were Jack Frost related, that being a plush, two tote bags, stickers, and a keychain, all of which were based on the Hee Ho Jack Frost line. For those who don't know, the Hee Ho Jack Frost series is the newest line of Jack Frost related merchandise straight from Atlas themselves. Plushes, keychains, pouches, totes, minifigures, smartphone cases, fuck man, there's even masking tape, each sporting this incredibly cute, chibi art style that's just absolutely adorable. It just wasn't easily available here in the West, making Anime Expo the one place you could actually get it here. Psst. Psst. See where I'm going with this? Don't worry, we'll talk about it later. The first time Atlas USA would acknowledge the AOS on their official social media pages since October was on July 19th, 2018, and it was to announce a sale. The store's first sale, actually, Save up to 35% off during the Atlas Online Store Summer Blowout Sale. However, when you look to the comments and replies on Facebook and Twitter, you could still find people criticizing the store for a lot of the same issues as when it was launched. Items were too expensive, there was no European shipping, smaller selection of goods to purchase, and a lack of representation across Atlas's other IPs such as SMT, Etrian Odyssey, and Catherine. The next time they would acknowledge the store would be on October 17th, 2018, when they announced another sale! The one year anniversary sale to be exact! Everything up to 40% off, spend $40 or more to get a free keychain of your choice! Again, if you look to the responses, you'll find a few people excited and happy, 
but you'll find more people with the same issues as when it launched. It was still mostly Persona 5, the product selection hadn't been updated with new merch as none of the Anime Expo 2018 items were ever added. There were limited size options for the clothing, no European shipping, and arguably the most egregious still being the ridiculously expensive shipping costs. Another month goes by and another sale is announced, this time being the Black Friday sale. Everything up to 50% off. Again, it's the same complaints as every other time. The next time Atlas USA would talk about the store would be when they apologized for their awful DLC practices and nah, it was another gosh dang sale. But this sale came with a little extra piece of news. Not only did the sale offer up to 70% off every item, but they also confirmed that they would be adding new products in mid-January, all of which were available for pre-order. Naturally, a lot of people were excited for this. For the first time in the store's life, they actually added items that weren't leftovers from Anime Expo 2017. A lot of people, including myself, were excited for this. But that didn't stop the complaints. You know the drill, poor variety in franchises, limited size options, no international shipping, expensive shipping, etc, etc, etc. However, there was one complaint that is unique to this specific incident. Nothing in the store was 70% off. This isn't a misunderstanding of what Atlas said. They literally said everything was on sale upwards of 70% off, yet nothing was actually on sale for that percentage. I have no idea what the hell happened here, but it just reeks of mismanagement and very, very, very poor planning. On January 1st, 2019, the store had yet another sale, but this time there was a special catch. There would be various bundles you could purchase at $35, $50, and $100 each. Oh, you want to know what were in those bundles, right? Well, I would too, because nowhere on the site did they say what were in these expensive things. There weren't any descriptions, or even any photos. I have some idea for a few of the $100 sets, as there were XL and XXL versions, suggesting that they were t-shirts. However, almost a year and a half later, I still have no clue what were in any of these things. I put a call out on my Twitter, and I even looked in various Facebook groups, asking people if they knew, but I haven't gotten a single response yet. Please, for the love of God, if you know what were in these things, tell me. I need to know what was in them. Atlas USA had to have put something in there. Hey, let's make some product bundles people can purchase during this sale. What do you think we should put in them? Hmm, I don't know. I actually don't fucking know. Please, please just tell me. I'm going fucking insane over this. My family is worried about me. On January 15th, 2019, new merchandise was finally added to the store for the first time in a year and three months. Now, remember the Hee Ho Jack Frost collection I talked about? Well, good news, they added the Persona 3 dancing and Persona 5 dancing merch from Anime Expo to the store and literally nothing else. So, if you were hoping that Atlas USA would let you purchase anything from a Japanese exclusive series that Atlas owns in its entirety, too bad. You're stuck with Atlas USA produced items, and the only thing you're ever gonna get that's from the Japanese side of things is a few plushies and keychains. The next time Atlas USA would post anything related to the store would be in July of 2019. However, that doesn't mean nothing happened during that time. In February, they had a Valentine's Day sale dubbed the Take Your Heart Sale. Everything up to 70% off, buy any two items and get a Take Your Heart pen free, while supplies last of course. Spend $30 and receive any one keychain of your choice. It's a combination of two previous sales, with a little extra thrown in. This sale lasted for about a week, and I just have to wonder how much Atlas made off of it. Cause as far as I can tell, they didn't post about this at all on any of their social medias. Neither Facebook nor Twitter had anything about the store during the week-long period between February 14th and February 21st, 2019. Failure to promote a sale aside, let's get back to July 3rd, 2019. It was on this day that Atlas USA would announce their Anime Expo 2019 lineup. And to be honest, it's kinda goddamn perfect. Persona 5 is still the most represented game, but in terms of balancing and franchise variety, this is great! We got 8 Persona 5 based items, 6 Jack Frost based, 6 Catherine based, and 3 Persona Q2 based. 
It helps that both Catherine Full Body and Persona Q2 had released that year, but I have to applaud Atlas USA for just having all of it be so equally balanced between all four. Q2 clearly got the short end of the stick, but I mean, when is it not? So yeah, Anime Expo 2019 was pretty good, but you know what? Let's get back to the sales, that's what you really care about. This time it's a lightning round, let's go! September 26, 2019, sale goes live. Free shipping on all orders, $30 and over. Complaints, overpriced goods, expensive shipping, still mostly P5, no international shipping, selection overall lacking, and a lot of stuff was sold out prior to the sale and it remained sold out as it went on. October 4, 2019, sale goes live. Save $5 on orders over $35 by using the code THANK YOU 2019. Complaints were the same as always, selection mostly Persona, no international shipping, and so on. October 21st, 2019, Atlas USA announces that the Atlas Online Store will be closing at the end of the month. Save 42,069% on shit. Wait, that's not a sale. Yes, it was two years and 15 days following its launch that the AOS would be shut down. After everything we've discussed thus far, I don't think it takes a lot of speculation to figure out why. In the days leading up to the store's closure, any order made prior to November 1st would be honored as long as the item was not sold out. You could also make returns and or exchanges within 30 days of purchase. Of course, even on its deathbed, the store garnered the same complaints it always had. No international shipping, lack of representation, shipping costs were too expensive, products were low quality such as thin t-shirts and overall bad designs, the store was often out of stock, and the items were overpriced, yada 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 yada. Come October 31st, 2019, Atlas put out one final call to place orders before the store would be shut down the next day. This would be the last time the Atlas online store would be talked about on any of Atlas USA's social medias. Now that we're done talking about the life of the AOS, there's something I want to bring to your attention. Only once did Atlas add any products, and it was more than halfway through the store's lifespan. In terms of social media posts, Atlas only ever posted about it 16 times, the majority of which were sales announcements, three of which were prior to the store's launch, and two that were about the store's closure. Meanwhile, between July 2018 and October 2019, there were 19 announcements and promotions of third-party licensed products based on Atlas IPs, many of which were promoted by Atlas themselves. Hell, one of these promotions by Atlas USA was the article where they announced the closing of the AOS. Companies like Fangamer, Insert Coin, Level Up Wear, Team Sanshi, Cookenbecker, 86, Crunchyroll, and of course, we can't forget the king of licensed weeb shit, Hot Topic had all collaborated with Atlas USA to make merchandise based on Persona and Catherine. Meanwhile, the Atlas online store sat there for a year and three months before anything new was added, and it would be the only time it was given any attempt at a second life. So what happened? What went wrong with the Atlas online store? Why did it get shut down after only two years of life? Easy. The selection of goods was small and was mostly clothing. The representation of Atlas's IPs was incredibly poor. Shipping costs were way too high. Products were constantly sold out and at times they'd be sold out at the start of a sale and would remain that way. The products were overpriced. No new items were ever added except once. The website was buggy and not very well made. And while I wouldn't expect a company titled Atlas USA to have shipping to Europe, the desire for Atlas to do so was evident. However, what I think the biggest issue was, was a lack of communication between both Atlas USA and the public, and within Atlas USA itself. One of the biggest issues the AOS had, especially towards the end, was how often it was out of stock, and it could take a good while before an item would be available for purchase again. Though it was a constant issue, it absolutely peaked during the September 2019 sale where many items were sold out prior and proceeded to stay that way throughout its duration. Another issue that shows a lack of proper internal communication was the December 2018 sale, in which they promoted it as having everything being upwards of 70% off, despite nothing in the store actually being 70% off. And let's not forget how rough the launch was. Jack Frost was listed as a Persona 5 property, for God's sake. But it's the communication between Atlas USA and the fans that really shot the store in the foot. The store was rarely ever talked about on social media, with most posts only being the announcement of a sale. 
Hell, sometimes there would be a sale and they wouldn't even post about it. The special bundles sold during the 2019 New Year's sale were also massive screw-ups. Zero details were given about what came in them. There was no description, no images, nothing. Some people even contacted customer service to figure out what was in them and they never heard any kind of response. But it wasn't until Atlas announced the closure of their store that the biggest issue didn't rear its head. Some people didn't know there was a store. There were a number of comments and replies of people surprised to discover that Atlas even had one. The thing had been around for two years and they had never heard of it. Now, when you clicked on this video, the title said why the Atlas Online Store sucked booty tits or something like that, and thus far, that's been what you've gotten. It's easy to criticize things, especially when it's in hindsight. But I'm not just gonna stand here and shake back and forth bitching about how Atlas USA screwed up and was just awful. I may have a Twitter account, but I only use it to interact with people and better promote myself. For the rest of this video, I'm gonna do the opposite of Twitter and instead suggest ways to improve the store. When Atlas USA announced the closure of the store, they stated, It hurts me to say it, but the Atlas online store will be closing. But this isn't goodbye. It's see you soon. We are taking feedback so we can return with something even better for all of our faithful. And while I'm sure they've already gathered a lot of feedback and already have a game plan lined out, I'm still going to try and be constructive. Cause it sucks being cynical all the time. Suggestion one, improve the selection of goods. This goes both for the franchises represented on the store and the type of items available. Clothing is nice, but when your store is mostly that, you're gonna bore your potential customers. And of course, add more merchandise from franchises like SMT, Etrian Odyssey, and hell, maybe even pull some strings and get some vanillaware based products on there. Keep making original products while also bringing over some goods from the Japanese side. Suggestion two, add international shipping and fix shipping costs. Shortly after the Atlas online store was closed, Atlas USA changed their name to Atlas West in an effort to unify their European and American branches. Because of this, I'm not concerned at all about international shipping being there when the store comes back. What I am concerned about, however, is the price of shipping. Even when some level of international shipping was supported, the costs of it were astronomical. Bringing the price down has to be a top priority. Suggestion three, update more actively. This one is self-explanatory. Whether it's a big yearly update or smaller ones throughout the year, the store needs new items added to it in order to keep people interested. Maybe even work with these third-party companies to sell their licensed product through your storefront. And if you make something for Anime Expo, put it on the store a few months later. Don't make fans have to wait half a year to purchase only some of it. Suggestion four, improve communication both internally and externally. Plan things out better and actually talk with the various teams involved. Make sure everyone is on the same page. Make sure items are in stock and that everyone knows exactly what is for sale and for how much. Don't go into another sale with goods out of stock. Meanwhile, communicate to your audience. Update them on the goings on with the store. Tell them what merchandise is being added in the future. Ask them what products they would like to see. Actually tell people what the hell they're buying before they buy it. And most importantly, advertise it. Whether it be paid advertisements or even just regular posts, it doesn't matter what you do to improve your store if no one knows it exists. Oh, and take more professional photos because the ones that were on there weren't super great. They weren't bad, they're just kind of iffy. I know Atlas can do this. I know because they already do all of it and it's called the Atlas D Shop. The Atlas D Shop is the Japanese storefront and it's better in almost every single way. The store lists many, many products made by the official Atlas goods team and even sells some licensed merch from third parties. Almost every important Atlas franchise from the past 10 years or so is represented. Persona 5, 4, and 3, Shimagami Tensei, Catherine, Etrian Odyssey, 
Odin Sphere, and so much more. Work with Atlas Japan to bring over products made by the Atlas Goods team, so we in the West can finally purchase some honestly cool merchandise. I would love to buy some Hiho Jack Frost bags without having to import them. The key here is to use the D-Shop as a reference to replicate and then improve upon. While I'm sure the Atlas Online Store will be back, I really hope the PR team wasn't lying when they said they would be taking feedback to make something even better. I know Atlas West can succeed where Atlas USA failed. Let's just hope they heed our complaints and criticism. Or at the very least, just tell me what was in those goddamn buns. <laughs>